Hi! <clears throat> this video is going to be about journaling. And I, I just got this topic like one or two weeks ago. Um, I'm playing with a, a kind of pencil. So, um, I started wanting to journal, you know, writing. And um, I think I thought, well, I need to buy a nice journal, you know, um, a leather journal, something like that. And I was looking on eBay for a leather journal. And then I said, duh, you know how to make a journal. You can make it yourself. You can get the leather and you can do it. But at the same time, my head was saying, no, nah, you cannot make those beautiful impressions and those drawings and whatever. So I was still looking. Then I saw on one of the Firefox groups on Facebook a journal that just stuck in my mind. <laughs> It was Kent's journal, and um, it was a Molden A5 ochre with uh, cream paper and some drawings. I, I don't know if they are they were print drawings or they were stamps or stickers. I don't think they were stamps or printed uh, drawings. And I was like, that's what I want. I want a journal just, not just like that, but something like that was in my mind when I was looking for the leather journals. So I start searching for an A5 ochre mold. And my head was, okay, I want the ochre mold. And at the same time I was saying, but I don't like the mold. <laughs> Because I have tried the molden. I love I love the mini molden. The gray mini molden that I had, loved it. My crimson molden personal loved it. Not for me though, because of the zipper pocket in the front. It bugs me, so no. And that's when I realized I wasn't a molden a molden girl. So I was in my head like I want the molden. I'm not a molding girl, so what is going on? And um, so uh, today, cloudy day, a little chilly, not so cold, as you can see, but a little chilly. I decided to dig in my trunks, in my boxes for journals. And um, let me show you what I found. <laughs> and bear in mind, here um, I don't have everything. There, I think it's one or two missing. Uh, I know where they are. I just didn't want to dig them up. First, I found this. Spiral bound, kind of like a uh, planner, but without dates. So, yeah. As you can see, um, blue. I don't have anything about it. I can cover and everything. Portability. It's very portable. It's small, it's handy, I can take it anywhere. This is another one. And this is very, very, very old. As you can see, it still has the band here. I don't know if this is Chinese or Korean. I don't think it's Japanese though. I don't know. And um, it has this clasp here, you can see, 
it comes with a pen that right now the ink is completely dry so it has a pen loop in the back and it's like this as you can see it's like this and let me show you white lines again memo and date I don't know how many pages this has but the lines are wider than this one so um okay spiral bound big ones a plain notebook uh, this I don't know how many pages this is says made in Korea you know how I long for you my heart goes strong for you will you please be mine this is a beautiful journal that my aunt used to have and it was in her apartment when she passed away beautiful drawings The lines are not too wide, but they are wide. This is, I think it has like 50 sheets. This is another one. Made in Korea again. It says happy moments there in the glare. I don't know if you can see, are uh, there. Happy moments. And... This is how it looks inside. And it says happy moments here. The lines are not as wide as the last one. And I don't know. I can use it, I don't know. Eh. As you can see it's old and it's falling apart. This is gonna be a long video. This is a bound one, again, made in Korea, time and time, and um, it's like this inside, again 50 sheets I guess, so this are the smaller, yeah, then I got here this uh this is from Brazil it's Vigenius uh, it's like this inside cute especially this very cute I can use this as a journal. I can definitely use because it's not too big. It's like almost an A5 size. Could be. I have this big one that I bought myself. Another A5, but this like 200 pages or something. Yeah. Lined. A regular notebook. Uh, I used to write on it, suspend them. Maybe I will use it for that again, for rooms and pendulums and stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know. This can hold a lot, so maybe rooms, uh, tarot and pendulum can go in here. I don't know. This is one that I loved. My aunt used to have it. It's just spiral bound. But I loved it. And as you can see, it's old. It says 2010. 2010, sorry. There's other pages. Yeah. Me. I could use this. Or this, I don't know. I can use anything. 
then like a uh, remember this that I bought use it like three days and then never again um this I made myself a few years ago it's very nice it's not leather though um, yeah. it's just uh, blank pages it has like 200 or something I can use this like here is how I made it so maybe I have been looking for an excuse to use this but it doesn't have lines oh another one Tinkerbell this was from my aunt she loved Tinkerbell and Barbie. And this is regular notebooks. This says 96 sheets. I'm not a fan of Tinkerbell. <sighs> a folder. With, oh, this is from last year, November, December calendars. These are the pages that this have. These are easy to find, meaning I can just uh, restock, but I do have a lot. Um, This was from university last year. I don't get it. How did I get this? Okay, I do have a lot of pages in here. And I will run, never run out of pages though in this. As you can see. And remember that I told you that I was looking for uh, Leather journals, bound journals, one. Well, I was looking for this big one, big one, A4 sheet. Well, this is just paper, this is uh, scrapbooking paper, and these are jeans, old jeans that I cut and glue them. A4, 200 pages, creamy paper, and if you look closely, let me show you the first page. I know, I. it doesn't lay flat though, I need to train it, but if you look here, I stain the borders with coffee. So... It looks antique. Too big to carry with me, but I can use it at home, right? And the last one. Finally, the last one. This is another one that I made. And I think I showed this before. I, I had it for sale and no one no one bought it so I still have it A5 size so thick really thick um, this is like the practical magic book and it has a lot of ribbons And I did roll on it. I know most of you don't, didn't understand this, but I loved it. Um, 
I do understand what it says. And this is a uh, recycled paper. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty honking thick. As you can see, it opens like that. And then you open up here. Another one. And another one here in the middle. You can see. Um, so, yeah. And that's another one. So, as you can see, I want to write, and I do have places, but I can't decide. <laughs> So, if you want to help me, can you give me an idea? Uh, what should I use? What should I do? <laughs> um, I do know I have to write in the, uh, a different font, uh, kind of like code. My mom is a little no no nosy. And, um, she likes to read my journals, and I don't like her reading them, so, yeah. That's another one. If you know any pretty kind of strange font, or maybe another kind of dialect or alphabet that I can use, that would be awesome. Um, so, it's already 17 minutes long. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and the one that is missing here is my, um, the little one that I made, the Midori, and, uh, the big purple one that I have in my other video, but that purple one is special, and it's safe, and it's mine, and <laughs> it's the only one that I never put on sale, because I truly adore that thing, and it has 500 pages, so... Thank you guys for watching, and we'll be seeing you again in the next video. Oh, you'll be see well, You know the drill, hi, guys. You know how I get this cross-minded stuff. So, you will be seeing me again in the next video. Bye!